is it's mission minutes again this week already and we're going into a big holiday weekend which means holidays are for missions independence day which means we're halfway through the year it also means we're kind of at that summer true summer mark and this is a fantastic weekend because it gives us an opportunity for a lot of us time to relax time to celebrate time to be around people and I'm hoping on that. This is why we do Holidays Are For Mission and take a chance to step outside of church services and go be the church. But I wanna be very specific, give you a challenge that's hopefully encouraging and edifying to you, but also one that is maybe even a little bit exciting, maybe a little bit interesting as you go out and try it. So I got really focused this time around and wanted you to do a little bit of a Bible study and then let that lead you into your practices this long weekend. So I'm gonna give you a bit of an example of that and see how might you be able to use this this weekend as well. Maybe not mine, but you go and find one of your own. And heck, I said maybe just read a section, that's all I'm gonna read here. Maybe you read an entire gospel and pick one method as well. But here we go. We're in Luke 24. Verse 13, this is after Jesus' resurrection, and these two guys going to Emmaus are going out. So I'm going to read that. Now in that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them. But they were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing together as you walked along? They stood still their faces downcast. One of them named Cleopas asked him, are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things, he asked. And then it goes on and they tell all about what unfolded with Jesus. And why I'm focusing on that is because I think it's interesting that after the resurrection, one of Jesus' first stops are going to these dejected followers and literally going, and we've talked about this one in our Converge kind of language and vocabulary, meeting them where they're at. But here more specifically, what I want to point to is he went and find them, started walking along, and he started asking them questions. And they even asked him a question. He responded with another question. Now, Jesus knew the answers. Jesus knew exactly what was going on. He could have just said, hey, I know what's going on. I'm going to tell them what they need to know. And I find myself guilty of this, being more of an empathic person. I tend to bank a lot on, hey, I kind of know what they're going through, I know what they're thinking, so I'm just gonna talk and tell them. That's wrong. We need to start asking, I need to start asking more questions, and Jesus models this. He knows everything that's going on in their hearts, he knows everything that would happen earlier in those days, and now he's still asking them questions, and that created an opening in the relationship, and then eventually he was able to share more about how his death and resurrection actually was prophesied, how all the prophets had pointed to this and how significant this was. And he took dinner with them. There was this powerful moment, but it all started with Jesus being intentional, going where they're at, and then specifically asking them questions, even if he knew the answers. That's the thing I'm gonna try. My method is asking questions, being intentional and asking questions. Even if I think I might know the answer, I'm gonna ask the question anyways. I'm gonna build uh, just a relational basis, get them hopefully talking, and this hopefully will open the doorway to this conversation about Jesus and what he's done and what he's done for each of us. So that's what I'm gonna try this weekend, and I hope you can find something like that as well. And I hope it's awesome, and I wanna encourage you to share that in our Facebook event. It's private, nobody else is gonna see it, but who's in our closed Facebook group? And I wanna encourage you to share. What are you reading? What's your method you're gonna try? And maybe what's happened? I don't want you to be in your phone all the weekend, but if you could just take a few minutes and share that, I would love it. And I'm sure everybody else would love it to hear how God's moving in you and how God's moving through you. So I hope you have a great weekend celebrating. I will see you the following Sunday, July 11th, for our next worship service. And I look forward to it and look forward to all the stories. Love you guys.